Hi and welcome back to another roundup vlog on the Ding Thing. So last month I headed off to Style Birmingham Live and it's actually the first time that I've been as a VIP. I got to go to the catwalk show, spot some autumn winter trends and basically spent the entire afternoon wanting to revamp my entire wardrobe. Um, everything that we saw on the catwalk could be purchased from a local Birmingham outlet which was fantastic. So everything from Grand Central, the ball ring, House of Fraser, Great Western Arcade were all involved, which was really, really good to see. After the catwalk show, it was off to the Bobby Brown Masterclass at House of Fraser, where I got to meet for the first time the lovely Amy Conway, who took us through a quick demonstration of how to use the Bobby Brown Greenish collection, in particular the Shadow Stick, which has an amazing formula. That same weekend was also the Birmingham Weekender and a friend of mine, uh, I, was singing as part of the Town Hall Gospel Choir so we went along to support her and hear them sing at various venues around the city. And we rounded off that weekend with a drink or two at Bar Epine in the mailbox. following week, it was time for a Laura Mercier makeover. Hi, so I've just had my makeup done at Laura Mercier uh, with the lovely Chris Powell, who I've actually had a makeover with before, and if you've read my blog then you might have seen Basically, I couldn't resist buying this lip colour. Um, it's the lip paint in um, Fuchsia Mode. And it goes on and it's really lightweight and it's absolutely gorgeous colour. I just I don't think it's translating on camera as nice as it is in real life. Anyway, I am with Emily and we are now going to head off to find some lunch. So say hello Emily! Hi, look at my grown-up chic makeup. I know! <laughs> I like it's like the lovely, lovely, lovely makeover. Gorgeous, I'm so pleased. Oh, anyway, we're gonna go get some lunch now and then I'll check in with you guys. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So after a spot of lunch, Emily and I headed off to go and film some YouTube videos. Emily and I filming, we're switching cameras, sorting ourselves out for our next film and a little pit stop. We went to Paul earlier, I'll show you what's in here, and basically this lovely box contains our reward for filming. Here is my hand. They are giant. They're giant. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is vanilla flavor, and this one is raspberry flavor. So yeah, and both are mine. I'm only really kidding. <laughs> so I will share. It's like I'm running across the room. No, they're not. <laughs> so we're gonna eat these, enjoy our coffee, and then we're gonna film some more. at the Touchwood Centre and we are going to go into the fabulous jewellery event where they're launching um, the My Mantra collection so I'm really excited to see that and I want to actually basically all the jewellery, just all the jewellery. What's fantastic about the Mantra range from Fabulous is that the pieces are actually produced here in Birmingham in the jewellery quarter. And in addition, there's also an extra special piece in the mantra range known as My Mantra, and you can have an inscription of your choosing engraved onto a pendant disc. So Emily and I had loads of fun browsing all the diverse collections that were in the store and picking out pieces that are going straight onto our Christmas wish lists. that this is not pho, it is pho. So we're at pho. Say hello Tasha. Hi. What are you going to 
order? I don't know, the sound of the broken rice. Broken rice, where's that? So this is broken rice. Woo! Check out her nails, show your nails again. Ooh, look at that! Gorgeous. Ah. Anyway, so broken rice maybe. I might go for some wok fried noodles. Ooh. Is that really boring? No. No? I think I might go for wok fried noodles, but I'm definitely going to order a starter. Definitely going to order a main. Yeah. Dessert maybe. Dessert? Oh my god, let's look at dessert. Banana fritter. I'm allergic to banana. Don't feed me banana. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so these are our starters that have arrived. As you can see, Tasha has a really gorgeous looking peanut sauce with real peanuts in it looks like. Um, and um, has the veggie rolls. And then mine are pork spring rolls with um, a traditional sweet chili sauce. So apparently the way to eat these are to wrap the spring rolls in the lettuce and then eat it together. So I'll give it a go. We're we'll skeptical. See. We're skeptical, but we'll try it. <laughs> Our mains have finally arrived and this is my king prawn broken rice which has got a very generous amount of peanuts on the top as you can see. I have a feeling that those with a nut allergy are going to really struggle in this restaurant but it looks quite a generous portion. There's Tasha's food. Tasha's got a vegetarian version of the broken rice and being the good vlogger that she is she's taking a quick Instagram snap. <laughs> Now it's definitely time to eat, yes. <laughs> my god <laughs> I mean you'll have seen what the facial entails and this is me with no makeup on there's no makeup for two hours after the facial as you can see there's no redness um, my skin doesn't feel sensitive it feels so soft and incredibly smooth almost glass like in smoothness but with a sort of a soft feel that doesn't make any sense whatsoever but anyway my first impressions are that that's sort of the main benefit but also all my pores look really open and the reason they look open is because they've been degunked which is gross but it obviously needed doing I'm gonna spare you a close-up right now <laughs> And the lovely people at the Sixth Sense Salon were celebrating their first birthday and rather charmingly awarded me um, a prize for the best blogger. So thank you so much Sixth Sense Salon. Having had a great time at the Chi Kitchen launch party, I took my parents along for a return visit where we kind of had a mediocre meal to be honest. Um, I'm hoping to return and have a better experience once the staff have had a time to bed down and get used to everything. The next place we actually took my parents to was Noche and Coif and I think they redeemed themselves after my last visit because this time I had the lobster and it was very good. And to round off a weekend full of eating, we decided to have some dim sum over at Chung Ying Garden. And it was the perfect way to round off a weekend with my parents because the food was very good. And then it was time to taste Christmas Bistro 1847 style in October, which was a bit early, but it was delicious and not a turkey in sight, thank God. Try this. 
Oh dear God. It's been a while. But Connor's gonna help. Yes. So after a safety induction, it was time to climb the wall. And it's been a while, so I kind of forgotten a lot of the tips and tricks that I'd been taught on my previous goes of climbing. And it took me a while to get into the swing of things and learn how to get my bearings when I'm off the ground and to look ahead. Um, so it was quite a challenge. And a lot of muscles that thought they could retire suddenly had to get back into gear again. Try and get that left foot a little bit for me. There you go, now. Perfect, well done. If you edit this right, Ting, it'll look like you got it first time. Yeah. <laughs> so, left foot up. There you go, now. Big push. Go on, really go for it. Go on, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah well done. Oh my god. You almost there, last hole. Excellent, right now. Woohoo! Just, just let go. Just let go. So after exhausting ourselves on the climbing wall, we then ended up in a personal training session in the gym with Connor, which was frankly exhausting and earned me a nice hour or two relaxing in the spa and the pool. myself with such force into the pod we are now swinging around quite, quite a lot relaxed. it is quite relaxing it's quite soothing in a weird way you know I mean don't get into a pod with someone you don't know very well no you will fall on top of each other you will fall on top of each other and it's quite small in here <laughs> it's not the most um yeah elegant no not the most elegant of uh, entrances or exits, I imagine, actually. I think, I think, gonna be worse. I think the exit, <laughs> the exit is going to be worse than the exit. Anyway, so we're now just going to enjoy a little snooze in the pod. So we've just had a lovely time in the spa. We've been hanging out in the sauna and steam room. Had a little cup in the pool. We also went into the salt room here. And Emily and I had a little adventure in the pod, which you've already seen now. And we're now enjoying a coffee which is actually very good. I do remember it from when I was a member here, actually being very nice. Have a little bit of a sit down. I can start to feel it in my legs already. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, chill out. Then I'm gonna go home and have a shower, wash my hair, and make myself feel vaguely presentable. And that's it for this roundup vlog so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more from the ting thing bye